Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chloe here, and we are going to be diving into another episode of Raptor Boyfriend. So, we learned that, um, oh god, I forgot our sweet boy's name. The big one, the Bigfoot boy. His name, I will throw it up on the screen. His, he, his family used to run the camp, and we learned that the camp closed down a few years ago. So, unfortunately, he's been kind of on his own for the past couple of years, because apparently his parents just took off and, like, big foot people they live in the woods now um and now we are going to we also admitted to the fact that like we had previously had a crush on him taylor his name is taylor isn't it we also admitted to the fact that we had previously had a crush on him and that's why we had stopped writing to him which seems like a weak ass excuse but you know what whatever so now the big secret's out there and now we're going to see robert because he's a plan uh, a big surprise for us at Highway 54. I knew it would be the key to getting the project done since he was the only one who could host our study date, but I was really not prepared for this. Why can't you host it at your house again? I'm confused, Stella. Surprise! You got me a dirt bag? Self-love? You were hilarious. But no, we're going for a ride. Robert, are you psyched or what? Tell me you're not psyched. Heck yeah. 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 Those things aren't dangerous and that's why I'm psyched. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Come on, self-love, this is gonna be our first trail rip. Remember when I told you I would show you the cool side of Ladle? Well, that time is now. Can that time be like, later? Oh my god, I all of a sudden got really itchy on my eye. Thought you might be nervous, you need not worry, my lady. I will be the utmost chauvinist tonight. I've got you a helmet and everything. Don't you mean chivalrous? Yeah, that, what do you say? Listen, I'm definitely excited, of course. But we need to get the project done, remember? We'll go to my place after and do the project, I swear. But first, we'll go for a trail rip. Just a little one. We have time. Come on, the two of us on this slick bike, wind in your hair, carefree in the night breeze. You look bitchin'. Can't deny he is a way with words sometimes. I was still freaked out, but I had to admit that this was a perfect opportunity to get some of that good alone time. Not to mention it was a chance to get real close to him on the back of his bike. Uh, okay. Okay? Okay, nice. But just for a little bit. Sure, sure. Where's your helmet? Don't need one. Wait, really? Don't worry. I've got major good reflexes. If we crash, I'll just do a perfect flip off the bike and land on my feet. We won't crash, though, promise. We'll go nice and slow. Okay. When I climbed down, I was so scared I was shaking. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. That's so cute. He told me to hold on tight and I was sure he'd be able to feel my heart beating against him. And then we were going and it was all such a blur. I remember my fingers went numb from the cold and holding on so tight. He told me we were heading to his favorite spot in Ladle and noticed we were climbing that huge silly overlook. I was just hoping we didn't go over a ridge and end up in the lake. I guess Robert is really good at dirt biking though because we got there in one prob- no problem in one piece. I was so relieved to get off of it I could have kissed the ground. Now you see what I mean by the best spot in Ladle? How have I came to here every summer and never seen this? It's not exactly easy to get to. Took me a while to find the way up here. I had to connect a couple of old hiking trails and, well, it was worth it. Yeah, I come up here to just chill. It's kind of like my secret spot. Secret? Don't really bring anyone up here often. But you brought other girls up here before. Nah, not really. Not even Jessica? Not even her. Wow. What's up with her, you and her, anyways? What do you mean? I mean, are you two me and Jess? She's just always been there, you know? We were like, I don't know what's going on with her right now. Oh yeah? Forget it. Anyways, in junior year, when they had this place, I had a plan to jump the gorge. What? Really? How? The old trusty here. But then things kind of changed and I didn't end up going through with it. What happened? I don't know. I guess realized that it was, I guess I just realized that it was not that cool of an idea. <laughs> yeah. But now I've realized it is cool. It's actually a wicked cool idea. I want to try to do it again. By the end of this year, I think. Do you really think you can make it? I mean, it's a pretty wide jump. Stella, do you not know me at all? Of course I can do it. It's just a matter of force over velocity or whatever. If you say so. Hey, didn't you see how easy it was to get us up here? I can ride trusty anywhere. Besides, I've done some pretty wicked jumps before. Really? I jumped a car at the junkyard once, and a little creek down by the campgrounds. You're out of this world. <laughs> so are you. Okay, in, like maybe a different way though. The fact that you would even want to do this is just such a Sagittarius thing to do. 
Right, the whole Zodiac thing. Sagittarius a bull, right? Totally. Such a wimp. I can barely, like, talk to people without getting nervous. Really? Yeah, I mean, you know the feeling when you're about to get on a roller coaster? Oh, man, yeah. I feel like that way for just, like, normal everyday conversations, especially when I have to meet new people. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I know, I'm a weirdo. What? No! I mean, you were telling me about being nervous about the presentation earlier. I mean, everyone has their thing, you know? Sorry, I'm not so good with words sometimes. You do poetry. The poem you gave me was awesome. Sure, I guess. For sure, I could barely even form a sentence when we met. Stella, you're too nice. I had no idea. I thought it was obvious. I didn't really notice, to be honest. It's pretty wild. So when we met, you were, like, nervous of me? Yeah. Do I still make you nervous? I, um, don't worry about it, self-love. I don't bite. I swear. Unless you want me to. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, my little face is red. Not, ju not just the lighting. Well, it's getting late. I guess we should head back. Wait, I don't want to leave yet. We we're just getting to the good stuff. It was time to whip out the plan. Using my ninja-like speed, I moved so fast to take Robert's keys that he didn't even see him do it. How are we supposed to leave if you don't have your keys? I do have them, though. Are you sure? They're in my pocket. Right. I wasn't as fast as I thought it was. All right, then. Let's head back, self-love. So we rode back to where we met, I felt like my goal was still in progress. Maybe the time wasn't right. Anyways, when we got back, it turned out there was another surprise waiting for us at Highway 54. Robert? What the fuck? Oh shit. Jess, what are you doing out here? I knew you would be out here. How did I know you'd do something like this? Jess. And with her? <laughs> what the fuck, Robert? Whoa, it's fine, Jess. Just chill, okay? It's not... Fine. You should know how irresponsible this is after everything that happened last year. Jessica, can we not get into this right now? We've got somewhere to be. And where would that be? You know what? No, Robert. You can't just weasel your way out of this. I'm not... <sighs> weaseling. Yeah, right. I know you've been avoiding talking about this. What is going on? Ha! <laughs> That's a great question. Robert, what is going on? Uh... I mean, you know, don't you? So tell her. Why am I so pissed off? Uh, tell her. Stella, you should probably leave. Okay, I'll see you at my place. Bye! I'll be there in a few, I swear. Okay, later, I, I guess. I was really disappointed when I had to leave Highway 54 then. I thought for sure Robert would ditch her and we could ride to the lake and get day together. But I guess things weren't that easy. Maybe it was for the best. Because then it would just be me and Day at the lake. Anyways, I was off to the lake to pick up Day next. Oh, hey. You scared me. I mean, I didn't see you there. That's a cool drawing. Oh, it's amateurish. What? No, it's not. It's probably the best drawing I've ever seen anyone do. <laughs> no, shut up. So what are you doing out here anyway? Nothing. Okay. Day seemed kind of distracted. You know when your brain starts, like, boring so loud you can't stand it? Yeah, sort of. I like to hang out here and draw when that happens. I guess it helps clear my mind or whatever. Oh, okay. I know that that sounds really weird. I don't know. I can think of weirder things to do by yourself out here at the lake. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like, I don't know, doing your laundry? Why would anyone do that? Look, sometimes when you're camping and you didn't remember to pack enough clothes. Okay, okay, you've convinced me. There are weirder things. So what was the great news that you wanted to tell me? Right, so... Yeah, what was that great news day? Oh, hey, Ingrid. Come on, let's hear it. I'm ready to be friggin' jubilant here. Spill it. I got into the college I wanted. I don't even remember how it happened, but all of a sudden I was caught in the middle of a fight between Day and Ingrid. Again. Okay, I'm sick of Ingrid's shit. I'm not even, like, mad, Day. You totally are, and I can tell. You could have just freaking told me, or is that too much for you? You always do this. You get mad at some little thing and then turn it around at me, and now I'm the one who looks like the asshole. It's infuriating. Well, maybe if you keep feeling that way, then there's some truth to it. See, so you're doing it again. And this isn't just some little thing. It's kind of like a big freaking deal day. Did you forget that I'm stuck here in Ladle in freaking undead purgatory while you get to go f around at university? F around it's like you're trying to get rid of me without so much as a goodbye stop it that's not true you can't even stop to consider me in your plans are you kidding how can i when you constantly disappear on me whenever you please oh, whatever you seem to have found a replacement for me just fine why don't you just leave 
Excuse me? We were talking. No, I think she's right. You should leave. Wow, real nice. You're really telling me to just go. It should be easy for you. Fine, I don't need this. Things were so awkward now that we sat in silence for what felt like forever. I couldn't think of anything to say except, congratulations. Thanks, Stella. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't even... It's not your fault. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have been caught up in that. It's okay, really. No, it's not. It's embarrassing us fighting all the time. So I guess you're off to Orion Technical next year, huh? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? I don't really know if I'm even ready to, like, think about this right now. It all seems so soon. But this is great news. You should be excited. I know. To be honest, I didn't even know Cryptids ever left Ladle. I didn't either. Me and Ingrid have other problems. I couldn't help myself. I knew I might be pushing, but the words just came out. Are you and Ingrid dating? <sighs> That's a good question. It is? Day? Sorry. Just being weird again. What were we talking about? My first instinct was to try and use my plan to be a ninja, but honestly, I was kind of losing faith in that strategy. I... never mind. Damn it! I should be celebrating instead I feel like shit. Do you still feel like going to Robert's? Not really, but we need to get the project done, I guess. Day's really struggling. I know what it's like to have a toxic shithead high school dating partner. So I, I feel, I feel this. I just remember everything just feeling like it was going to blow up like all the time. And so I feel, I really feel for Day in this scene because I, I, I know what that's like and it and it sucks and it's exhausting especially if you find someone that you really connect with it's just like i i literally just want you to be happy for like five seconds you don't have to do anything i just need you to be here and i just need you to not treat me like shit which seems like a very basic level thing to ask for but then somehow it just doesn't happen and then you're exhausted and then they like come to apologize and it's like this cycle and like it starts all over again. And if you get stuck in that cycle as I was when I was younger, like it, it sucks. It really sucks. Like you're exhausted. You know, personally, I kind of feel like I have less patience for other relationships now just simply because of all the shit that I went through when I was younger. Uh, I'm just like, yeah, no, um, if, if things aren't easy, leave and i actually actually that is my one advice that i'm gonna <laughs> this is my moment of advice that i'm gonna give on the channel today if you're dating somebody and if the first three months of dating i'm gonna say first three months if first three months are not easy which is like when they should be like four i would say four months onward that's when it starts to get serious but if the first three months of dating are not easy you need to leave I know it's hard to hear, but you need to leave. Um, I've made that mistake a couple times. And there was one time though that I didn't make that mistake and it was better for me in the long run because I was just like, wow, this relationship sucks. It stresses me out. Why am I dating this person again? Oh yeah. And then, you know, I, I, I ended up breaking up with that particular person because it sucked. It's just, it's not worth it to be in a relationship where, where it feels stressful. And especially, I think, those first three months. Like, this is supposed to be the exciting, like, honeymoon portion of a relationship. It's supposed to be arguably the happiest time of a relationship. And don't be like me. And sit there and think, oh, well, you know, even if I can't have an entirely happy, like, kind of honeymoon relationship, maybe that just wasn't in the cards. No, babe. It's in the cards if both people try. It's in the cards if both of you are just into each other that much. If you feel stressed out and if you feel depressed in your new relationship, that's not how a relationship should feel and you need to leave. Um, and if you feel unsafe to leave, you should ask someone for help. But trust me, you do not want to be, you do not want to be stuck in a relationship with someone and, because the longer you stay in a relationship like that, the longer it's going to leave you with some scars and those are going to be hard to work through on their own. So leave as early as you can to avoid inflicting further trauma on yourself thank you that's my my ted talk okay you can let go now <sighs> sorry <laughs> so maybe let's get out of here yeah for sure we have a project to start not to mention i feel like we're still being watched 
happen like whatever not like i care let's blow this pop stand yeah let's i was so happy to leave the lake with her then i almost completely forgot about the drama earlier i didn't really understand why she was with ingrid in the first place or why they were even if they were even supposed to be together at all the two of them just seemed so wrong for each other and all i wanted was for day to be happy Oh my god, they do have a mini bar. For some reason, I thought that he was like lying and it was gonna be like a cardboard table in the basement, but that's a mini bar. That's how we figured out claws and rope strings just don't mix. We've been at Robert's place for an hour or so, and we still haven't done any actual work. Okay, that's a pretty good story. Like, believe me, I could listen to you stories about you falling on your face forever, but I've got lots, so. Now that we seriously have to get to work, though. Right, work. Okay, I got it. If I were to build a base on Mars, how would we do it? Oh god, it makes me more tired every time I hear it. <laughs> That's the assignment! How would we build a Mars base? But the list of required elements, air filtration, food storage, maintenance, were just given to us on the handout. So what are we even getting graded on? The quality of magazine clippings? We might as well just give the teacher the handout back and say, There you go, That's how we'll build it. Can we do that? No, we have to show that we at least made some effort. Well, I gotta agree with Taylor. Please, not you two. I'm sorry, but we shouldn't go to Mars anyways. What? Just in case, you know? I honestly don't. Okay, I'll tell you. But you gotta promise not to tell anyone. I'm still not sure about what I saw. I promise. Thanks, Stella. Can't make any promises. Yeah. Whatever, I'll tell you anyway. One night, I was driving home from snowboarding. Took a different route than I normally did. Wanna see some new sights, you know? Well, I did. Believe me, I did. Okay, speed it up here, Robert. I'm sorry, you can't rush a good story, Day. Anyways, there was slight fog that night, the kind that sits low on the ground. I'd just gotten a bit lost on some dirt road, so I stopped at the top of the hill to see if I could figure out where I was. And that's when I saw it. An alien? Well, not exactly. Uh, I'm almost there, self-love. I saw... I don't know what it was, but I saw a big light with smaller lights spinning around it. They went clockwise halfway around and back again. Hovered there for a second, then did a sharp turn and was out of here. So you saw a UFO. I can't be sure. I don't want to say that it was a UFO because, like I said, I just don't know. Right, but that's what a UFO is, an unidentified flying object. Hey, if you want to say I saw a UFO, fine. I'm going to remain skeptical. But that's what it means. Another two hours went by and magically we managed to put a few things on the Bristol board. And I was completely soaked in mustard. The good stuff, too. Like great Poupon? No, like beer. Stella, please. Oh, right. Day, just drop the act. What act? Like, you actually give a shit about this project. I do, though. If you did, you wouldn't let Robert tell his random stories. You wouldn't even be entertaining this conversation. <laughs> Taylor, man, did you break her? You're right. <laughs> this is just a perfect example of why Ladle High sucks. Another reason why I'm just so done with this town. Day, I didn't mean to. It's fine. Honestly, it's really freeing. This project's bad. Yes, it is. It's so preschool. I think it's kind of fun. Me too. Weirdly, after that, we all finally got to work, and after a solid 10 minutes of minor to serious effort, we took in our achievement. I'm done working on this piece of junk. Same. All right, so now we just hang for a bit. I need to head home soon, though. This was it. This is the time I had left with them tonight. I wanted to hang out, but more than that, I wanted to pick up where I left off with Robert. You can probably guess what my strategy was for getting rid of Taylor and Day. Whoa, did you guys hear that? What? N no. It sounds like a shuriken was thrown upstairs. Day, do you think Taylor, you and Taylor could check that out really quick? I would, but I've been marked for death and I don't want to risk it. Marked for death? Stella, what are you... Please? Sure. I know I came into it with a solid plan, but I was still so surprised it actually worked. So, self-love. Sorry if I was a bit, I don't know, rude earlier. When? At the gorge. When I asked you... About you and Jessica? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, you see, me and relationships. I had one relationship that just didn't work out. Yeah, I was weird though. Me and my friend, we known each other for a long time, and then in 11th grade, things kind of changed. She told me that she liked me, like, liked, liked me, which is perfect because I liked her too. We were officially going out for about a month or something. I don't know what happened, but she just stopped hanging out with me or calling me. Damn, that sucks. Honestly, I haven't really had anything that qualifies as a relationship. At least I don't think I have. This seems impossible. No, really. I guess it hasn't been on my mind or whatever. 
But even if going out with people isn't on your mind, someone like you must have people asking you out all the time. Oh, I've gone out with girls. You have? Yeah, but I don't know if I call them full-out relationships. It's not like I'm against the idea. It's just that it's just that up until now, for a moment he just looked at me and I sat there holding my breath. Until now, there was another pause. This time it looked like Robert was about to say something. Stella, I... That's when Taylor and Dave came back into the room, cock-blocked again. Goddamn. I'm sad. <sighs> was I upset that they ruined the moment? A bit. But hanging out together for the rest of the night was so fun that it was hard to complain. After all the drama that happened that day, hanging out with the four of us just felt so nice, like a sanctuary. The next day we had to get, the next school day we had to give the presentation. I was still nervous, but not as nervous as I usually am. I think it was because I was with them, to be honest. So yeah, I don't think we got a good mark for it, but at least we pulled it together. After the presentation, I was at my locker when Robert showed up out of nowhere. Hey, Robert. Self-love! What's up? Think you left your magazine in class. I don't read magazines in class. It's okay, self-love. I'm not gonna rat you out or anything. What's the magazine? Don't know. Kind of felt weird to look through it. All I know is it was open on the horoscope section. <laughs> yeah, there were a few that were circled and... Yep, that's mine. Thanks for grabbing it for me. Okay, yeah, cool, no problem. Here it is. Oh, he's 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 holding our hand, Chuck. You're holding my hand, Chuck. Okay. Our hands touched for a split second and it felt like there was a jolt of electricity be between us. And then I did that super cringy thing and flinched. Wow. Damn. Hi, Robert. I looked up and saw that he was staring at me so intensely I couldn't look him in the eye. I just stood there like a total dweeb, staring at my shoes and blushing. Ugh. Hey, Stella. My heart nearly melted when he said my name. You, uh, you never told me your sign. My what? Your zodiac sign, remember? <laughs> right, my sign. I'm a Pisces. Pisces. Cool. Do the Pisces and Sagittarius people, like, get along? Do you mean are they compatible? Sure. So are they? Wait! What? I hate zodiac signs! I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna say yes. Cause I don't believe I don't believe in that shit. I'm sorry. If it's gonna block me from getting with my raptor boyfriend, I don't believe in it. I really genuinely don't believe in it. You know, people can live their lives however they want to, but people who live so strongly by the zodiac and like horoscopes, they they scare me a little. <sighs> I'm gonna get someone who's like really into zodiac signs in the comments going. See, this is why Leo's like you are you know bad <laughs> or some there it would it would obviously have like a lot more details to it like fully entailing like why i per my zodiac would be a bad person um but you know it's it's complicated i don't understand sure they do all right nice it's really nice to know that that works out so we should team up again you're a solid player self-love oh cool yeah definitely should hang out again soon, but not just like for school, you know? Maybe next time I'll show you how to shred those slopes at Everidge. Or we could just kick it at my place too, your call. Yeah, that sounds for sure. I wasn't even sure what I was agreeing to. I was so excited he even thought to invite me over again. Anyways, I'm gonna head to the gym. Call me later. Yeah, see ya. Interesting. Maybe I was just imagining it. I was probably really sleep deprived, but I swear I thought I had saw swagger in his step a little bit when he headed off to the gym. Finally, I had friends. Friends that wanted to hang out with me and do cool stuff outside of school. Maybe just maybe a new crush? Oh, and we are on episode three. And babies, that is what brings us to the end of the episode. If you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help the channel out. Also consider subscribing. When you subscribe, be sure to hit the notifications bell so you get updates on when I upload future episodes. Without further ado, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye! I would like to give a very special shout out and thanks to my patrons, AceWolf741, Deep Dive Dylan, D. Roberts, Brian White, D. Vol J, Caleb Putnam, Robin Harper, Bob Conway, Cody Webb, and Maticus Sama.